I'm back with attorney Mark Paoletta. We're talking about uh, this remarkable book about Clarence Thomas. It's called Created Equal. Um, Mark, um, you know, we've heard a lot over the years about uh, various judicial philosophies, the uh, philosophy of original intent. In other words, fidelity to the original intention of the framers. We've heard about the Scalia approach, which is more of a uh, uh, fidelity to the actual text. What does the document itself say? Uh, Clarence Thomas has sometimes been linked with the sort of natural law philosophy, which I take to mean a philosophy of a kind of external code of right and wrong written into human nature itself that becomes part of the way that you read the Constitution. So you've got these different kind of ways of trying to understand our justices, not just Thomas, but also the others. Um, can you talk about what you think makes... Clarence Thomas tick as a justice? And also, is there a single uh, guiding philosophy that drives the way that he looks at the Constitution? Uh, I think, again, I think the, the book and the interview goes through this period in his career when he's the chairman of the EEOC, where he really does this deep dive into natural law, right? And making sense of uh, the Declaration of Independence, which he thinks informs the Constitution. And it's really a really interesting section of the book uh, and, and who he's talking with and the folks he has that he's he's uh, discussing this with. Um, but at the end of the day, it's originalism, right? I think he thinks that, just, that the Declaration informs the Constitution, but it's originalism, the faithfulness to that text, to the original meaning of the Constitution. And I think he's been our most fearless and committed originalist in history, uh, certainly in the modern times. And the guiding principle is humility. I mean, Justice Thomas talks about this. And again, what's neat about this book is Justice Thomas has his memoirs, which were wonderful. Nothing like that, right? It just, it just, you can't replace that or really add to it. This takes, this takes us to the current time. The interviews were in 2017, 2018. So, um, it, he talks about his time on the court and his approach to judging. And it really is humility and faithfulness to the Constitution and the text and really not substituting your own policy preferences for what you think is right and because he thinks that's a undermining of our of, of our structure of government and our democracy uh right which is that things are left to the people not to unelected judges and i think justice thomas in his opinions and, he, and and i think he's been our most influential and greatest justice of the modern time um and it, and it started right away when he went on the court with the very first conference uh in 1990 um 1991 where he brings scalia and um and rehnquist over to his side uh, in a in a in a, in a case, so uh, that's I think in, in a word, it's humility and faithfulness and fearlessness as a justice applying the Constitution and statutes. I mean, it almost seems, Mark, like it's a double humility, right? Because on the one hand, it's a deference to the architecture created by the founders. It's like it's their structure, and I'm going to defer to them. And then the second part of it is that where the where the founders are are, are silent. Uh, we defer to the people because we live under a constitutional democracy. The people make the rules under which they live. And so the judge's job is to relinquish, on the one hand, power to the founders and let them speak primarily, but where they are, they're silent to defer to the American people themselves. 100%. That's exactly it. And um, that, 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 that you, you said it perfectly. I mean, it's a, it's a humility uh, and a... And, and a, and a and a humility. That's it. That's 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 what it is. And he has, as you may know, it's in the back. The last part of the book is Appendix B is the litany of humility, which is a, a prayer, uh, it, you know, that hangs in his office, in his chambers. Uh, and, and it's so important to him. And he repeats it a lot that we put it in the back of the book. This is awesome. Uh, folks, you got to check out the book. It's called Created Equal. We, uh, I've been talking to the author, Mark Paoletta. Mark, great to see you after all these years. Love to have you back sometime uh, uh, to talk about the law on the podcast. Great. Uh, Dinesh, thanks for having me on. Look forward to being, being back on.